how much we spent in a week on a budget sister's trip to Australia. Ooh, it's day three and it was freezing in Melbourne. But that did not stop us from getting what was said to be the world's best croissants. Well, we got the original, the almond and the ham and cheese one. And I say, it was one of the better croissants I've had. Very flaky. And off we went on the tram to South Melbourne Market where we were greeted with so many fresh flowers and produce. It was a sin to leave without a box of strawberries. My sister also got a souvenir shirt and we also tried this very sweet cannoli. We had no time to lose so off we went to tour the University of Melbourne. <laughs> my my, I must say the city campus is beautiful. Try to do an exchange here. Then we ate our strawberries and strolled around Yara River. People watching and bird watching, absorbing our last moments in Melbourne. We could not leave this city without trying the popular Nicole sandwich. Oh gosh, the mushroom melt sandwich one was huge and so addictive. And didn't we say we came back for more of the heavenly short stop donuts too? We then reached Avalon Airport an hour before our flight to go coast via Jetstar. But sadly, we had to pay for overweight baggage. At least the sunset on the flight was nice and we reached Gold Coast safe and sound. We took public transport to our vibey colourful hostel and after that, we kind of took the risk and walked alone in the dark to Miami Marquetta. But that place was so vibey. It had a live band and quite a few food vendors and thrift shops. My sister and I settled for calamari and the Turkish vegetarian goslami. But our sweet tooth had to end the night with some banoffee pie and a lemon coconut cake slice. On the way back, we topped out our gold cut and also got more water and this ended our good day. This is today's damage.